New tonight, a Delray Beach mail carrier is facing charges after being accused of trying to sell a United States Postal Service mailbox key and stolen checks. Jade Jarvis is live for us tonight with how you can protect your hard-earned money. Jade? Well, Felicia, I spoke with a former special agent with the FBI, and he says these kinds of cases are taken and prosecuted very seriously because they want to deter other people from doing the same thing. Delray Beach mail carrier Hudson Adrian is now facing serious charges for alleged theft and check washing. According to court documents, in June, federal agents got a tip that Adrian was trying to sell a USPS arrow key for $10,000. Arrow keys are used to open mailboxes, which hold incoming and outgoing mail, and this particular key was assigned to mailboxes in Boca Raton, Boynton Beach, and Delray Beach. A few weeks later, the documents state an undercover agent met with Adrian at a Walmart in Pompano Beach, where he sold him the arrow key and an envelope with a stolen check in it. Then, several more weeks later, the document states Adrian again met with the undercover agent and sold him another arrow key and 21 stolen checks with a total value of nearly $550,000. The problem with these cases is it really uh, does a disservice to the United States Postal uh, Authority because it's a direct impact on the integrity of what we hopefully can trust. Stuart Kaplan is a former special agent with the FBI and now is a practicing attorney. He says theft committed by postal workers is not uncommon, does not go unnoticed, and punishment is often swift and firm. We want to try to hold these people accountable and hopefully have some sort of, uh, you know, impact so people will not necessarily be willing to engage in this type of criminal activity. After the last sale, document state Adrian was arrested and questioned by Broward County Sheriff's deputies and admitted to the crimes. Based upon my experience, uh, I would not be surprised if he would go to prison for up to five years, 60 months in the federal system, uh, followed by five years, 60 months of supervised release. Now, Kaplan says if you often mail checks to your landlord for rent payment or for any other reason, the best thing you can do to protect yourself is to wrap that check up in paper before you put it in the envelope. That way, people can't see through and identify what it is. Reporting live, Jay Jarvis, WPBF 25 News.